Yo, welcome back to the channel, Much Love to you. Welcome back, my name is Juice. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, support by subscribing, hit the bell notification, comment, like, and share. Like this video to help this get out to more people so the algorithm can really get out this information to more people. And that's what I wanna say. So that's the intro. Basically, you read the title to this video. You know exactly what this is going to be about. It's not gonna be about Anton Daniels only or specifically. But to me, this is more about the message that he's promoting is what this video is, is really all about. But I'm using him in his message to get out this truth. So basically, if you're not familiar with this YouTuber or businessman by the name of Anton Daniels, super positive dude. I respect what he's putting out into the world. It's much needed, especially in today's world with this pandemic. We need more positivity. But anywho, what I really want to talk about in terms of his message, Anton Daniels. I watched this live stream today of him announcing that he's going back working in corporate, right? Uh, I believe Anton is a millionaire. He's rich, right? But he's going back to work. Now, he doesn't have to go back to work according to what he's saying, which is amazing, right? He, just, he doesn't have to take a job. He has his own business. He has his own whatever situation that's making him money, which is incredible. So when I'm hearing someone like, Anton Daniels, um, basically going back to work. I love what I'm seeing. I love what I'm hearing because this is what I got from his message or this announcement of him going back to work. Even millionaires still have jobs. Let that sink in what I mean, what I, what I, what I mean by that. Even millionaires still get up every day and report to some job. Whether it's home or an office, doesn't matter. They have to get up and get something done. Even millionaires work in the weekends, right? Millionaires work, I don't see all of them, but they work, they work a lot, okay? So that's what I really want to say also. When I'm hearing people talk, especially a lot of these influencers and these gurus who are into real estate, cryptocurrency, um, just a lot of these different fields and these gurus are promoting this idea that people should quit their jobs, retire early, and start a business, right? I'm not against people doing those things. I'm not against you quitting your job. If it's to benefit you, so be it. If running a business is going to benefit you or, re or you retiring early, if that is what you want to do, I support those things. There's nothing wrong with that. But there is a dark side to this too. Okay, let me point that out. The dark side of quitting your job, retiring early. And when I mean by re, like retire early, it can mean like retire in your 30s, your early 40s. To me, that's retire early, right? And last but not least, starting a business. I'm not against these things. I support them, but I'm speaking about the dark side of these things. And the dark side of each one of those situations are this. When people hear, quit your job. It, it kind of promotes this idea of just quitting and not have some kind of backup plan, right? Some people are like, leave your job, literally, and have no kind of backup plan at all. They just leave because they hate it there, right? I think that's a little irresponsible, but I don't know what's your situation. I, I, I won't get too much into that, but that can be very dangerous because, again, having a, a, a backup plan, how we're having some kind of other job waiting for you to go into because you left this one to go over there, that makes sense. You're going back to another job. Cool. But some people, I think when they hear this message, they just quit your job and do your own thing. I think people don't really understand how hard it is to start a business after quitting your job. It's really not that easy. I'm not against it. Again, start a business if you need to. If you know what you're doing, it's a beautiful thing. But some of us do not know what we're, what we're doing. And what I mean by that is this. To run a business is a skill. It's a skill to run a business. Right. You have to be very, very like just have discipline and, 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 and just realize everything's on you. Everything is on you. I'm not trying to scare you to start a business, but I think it's it's important to understand these things are going to be there when you want to be a business owner. It's basically another job. It is running a business. is, is just another job, but everything is on you in terms of paying, paying the taxes. Get, I'm getting the inventory. If you mess up anything, it's on you. The beauty of the beauty of having a job is if you mess up, it's someone else's money, not yours. You're just the employee. 
The employer has to pay for that. But if you're the business owner, it's on you. Just like owning a house. If something breaks the roof, the AC goes out, you got to pay for it. Compared to someone that's renting. The landlord has to pay for those things, not the renter. So you are the you are the landlord, you're the business owner, everything's on you. That shouldn't scare you, but that's just the reality. Everything's on you. If you need skills or, or have some kind of skill to run a business. You just can't run a business and have all this money. It's just not reality. It's not. So that's what, to me, the dark side is about when I hear people say, just quit your job and just do your own thing. I'm like, yo, like you really shouldn't be seeing that to people because some people are not really mentally ready to do something like that and they don't know how to do it properly. Like there's a way to run a business. It really is. Um, next is retire early. And I hear this a lot too. Retire early from like late 30s, early 40s. I'm not against these things. I'm all for it, okay? I'm not against retirement. The problem is, when, when when the average person, the everyday person here is retire early, quit quit your job. I, I say to myself, retire, then do what? Right? You quit your job, you retire, you retire early, then what? Right? Here's what I, here's what I mean by that. What purpose do you have in life after you retire from working? Like, what are you trying to do next? You know, are you trying to like run? I mean, what's next? <laughs> You know, to, I mean, are you going to stay home all day and do what? You know, and that's what to me, like the average person thinks like this. Like they're just going to just travel the world and go to Bahamas and the beach and go all these, these different countries and just do whatever you want. Right. And that stuff gets old fast because here's the reality. Here's the reality. And to me, the dark side of retire early. Our family and friends are not may not be on your level. If you were to retire early, have all this access to money and become a millionaire, your friends, friends and family are still going to be working or going to school. They're still going to have jobs. So they won't have time to hang out with you every morning because <laughs> they're at work or every evening. They may be at work. It's just it's not realistic unless you have rich friends and family like they're all are on your level of just being, you know, you just do what it do, do, do whatever you want. Cool. But someone like me, you know, my family, we all have jobs, okay? We all work. So if I were to retire early and just quit and be home all day, even my wife has a job, right? If she were, if I were to retire early, I'm home doing what? What purpose, what what, what am I doing all day long now that, I, now that I don't work every day, okay? Again, I'm not against retirement. I'm not against retirement, but this to me is reality. What's next? I think people have to work. People always have to do something. We can't just sit down and not do anything. I mean, we have to be productive. We have to have some kind of purpose. To me, without purpose in life, it's a dead life. There's nothing to do. There's, no, there's nothing to do because I'm always home. Every morning I wake up doing the same thing every day. I, I'm just home doing what? Because I retire early. So this to me is one. That, this to me is the dark side of retirement. The reality is your family and friends or your spouse are going to be at work all day. You're going to be by yourself, literally. It's going to be very, very lonely if you think about it, right? The only time you'll see your family and friends, maybe if they don't work in weekends, is the weekends or maybe evening hours or they may be too tired to want to even hang out with you. We have all this energy. I have all this time. They're like, yo, I just got off work. I'm tired. I have to go get something to eat and prepare for tomorrow morning to go back to work. You know, you're going to go home to your bed, wake up tomorrow morning by yourself again, lonely. And this is not to scare you, but it's just to me is a reality of working, of, re, of retiring early. This is this is just a reality, okay? Owning a business, I, I, I already talked about that, but I'll say it again. You need a skill to run a business. So you need a, it, it's just another job. That's just, that's just a reality. You're not going to be, <laughs> you know, just have passive income. The minute you just quit your job, you have all this money coming from all these these different like things or sources, you know, YouTube channels, real estate, um, have all these different streams of income. It's just not going to happen any anytime soon. It takes time to build this stuff up. You can do it, but it takes it takes it may it may take years, literally. So again, you need some kind of skill to run a business. And like I said before, it's just another job that you created for yourself. Literally, that's what business is. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly what a business is. It's just another job. So to retire early and to quit your job, 
And to me, it's like, and then do what? I'm just trying to be realistic. In no way, shape, or form am I trying to tell you not to do these things, not to quit your job and go find something else better, pays you more money. I'm all for that. Or if you quit your job and you have some kind of purpose, great. Do it. Or if you want to retire early, I'm all for that too. I plan on retiring early. I do. I plan on re like retiring at a certain age where, to me, re retirement is this for me. This is my definition of retirement. I'm still going to work. I'm still going to get up every day and have some kind of purpose to do something productive. I'm not going to be home not doing anything. Or if I am home, I'm doing something productive. Content creation, talking to people, helping people from home. So that, that's my purpose. I'm not just home watching net, net, net Netflix and YouTube and videos. I'm working. You know, but I, I get to work how I want to work, when I want to work, where I want to work. That's what I would like. I'm working on it. Slowly, I'm, I'm getting there. But that's, that's what I would like. That's my definition of retirement. I get to do it when I want to do it. But I'm still going to work. I am, not, I'm, I am a runner. I'm an athlete. I run a lot. I'm always working out. I train some people. Right? So working out is working too. That's my way of working. I work out. I get up every morning. And if possible, I go out for long walks. When I get off work, I go for a run. 20 miles, easy. I like to work. I'm always going to, me, this person right here is always going to work. Something. I cannot remain, you know, I, I can't stay home all day and not do something. I have to go do something. I need some type of purpose. But that's just me as a person. I can't speak for you. But that's my form or way or this idea of retirement. Do whatever I want to do. How I want to do it, but when I want to work, how I want to work. You know, like that makes sense to me. But I'm always going to work. I'm always going to be working out. Always going to be doing some type of job. That's just me. I may even run a business, but and, but I realize a business is just another job. Literally, that's what it is. But it's just all on you. It's just another job. Believe me. <laughs> Everything's on you. If you mess up on something, you got to pay for it. If you miss paying taxes, you're in trouble. Something. Everything is on you. It shouldn't scare you, but that's just the reality of, of owning a business. You take all the fall and goods of that business. It is what it is. Like I said before, it's not about Anton Daniels, but to me, it's more about the message he spreads. I like what I'm seeing of him going back to work. Not just the, It's not just because he's working, but the fact that he's, he's just another millionaire, like Steve Jobs, the guy who owns, not owns, but the, the CEO, the current CEO of Apple, I'm not, sure what, what, I'm not sure what's his name. Um, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Warren, Warren, Warren Buffett. All these people are billionaires and millionaires, right? And they all have jobs. <laughs> they all still go to work every day. All of them are still working. Just like Anton Daniels. He's a millionaire, but he still has a job. Or he's going back to working a job. There's nothing wrong with having a job, right? But there's nothing wrong with owning a business, Re, like retiring early. It's just the way you do it. And I, I just don't want people to have this idea that just because, oh, you quit your job and you retire early, it's going to be this wonderful life. If you do it correctly, it may be a, one, a wonderful life. But this idea that some people have that from these gurus, just quit your job, retire early, start a business. Eh, got to be very careful with that. Got to be really careful with just, just with giving that message to people because they can really take that and not understand fully what that really means. So that's the video for today. Much love to you. Thanks for watching. Hope you got some value from this. And uh, again, there's no way, shape, um, there's, there's just no shape, way, or form of me or just this intent of making you feel like you should not do these things. Retire early. Quit your job if you really have to and, do, and find something better or start a business. Do these things. Just know what the hell you're doing. Get as much information as possible to really understand what those things mean and then make your move. Just be careful. Much love to you. Be back with more videos. Peace out. I'm out.